Yes, sir. All right, y'all, it's been a while since I made my last video. Oh, God. It's hot. But anyways, it's been a while. I think I'm gonna start posting again. All right, so hear me out. I had a job for a little while and that was pretty much taking up all my time because I would work there right after school and it would be every single day and so I stopped selling cars on the side. But then I eventually got fired from that job. It's kind of a long story. That meant that I was going to sell cars again. So I've been back into it a little bit ever since the Corvette didn't work out. And we've actually had some really good turnout. So I thought I'd start recording these things again. Starting with my 2013 Mazda Speed 3. That car I actually just sold yesterday. And as I was selling it, I thought to myself, I'm so dumb. I can't believe I didn't record any of this because it was actually a really good turnout. I ended up buying the car for like $3,500 and then I had to put some work into it. I needed to fix the two doors, um, a fender, a wheel, and I had I put like new tires on it and stuff and also had to get painted and all, and all that body stuff. So, But anyways, I just sold it yesterday for seven grand and actually that selling price was pretty cheap it was a uh, Mazda Speed 3 it had uh, 91,000 miles on it and I still have it in my driveway actually they haven't fully paid it off but and around the same time as I had that Mazda I actually bought a 335 IS now these cars I've I've always liked I had friends that have had them and they've always had good experiences with them ever since I had the 428i I always liked like just the BMW aesthetic. I, I don't know what it is about it. The interior and like how they look outside is really cool. The only bad thing about that 4 Series was it was a 4 cylinder. Now don't get me wrong, it was a great car and all, but I wanted a little bit more power. And actually around that same time, my friend Aiden, you can follow him on Instagram. Okay, so if you want to follow him, it's Aiden underscore underscore Newman. So he had this car before 335s were even like really big honestly and ever since then I've always I've always seen how like not easy but compared to other cars this motor there's a 335 has just so much potential now if you guys know anything about these cars you would know that there's a big debate around which motor is better because the newer generations came with the N55 and the older ones have the N54 I've always heard that the N54 is probably the best for high-end power not necessarily the most reliable but you can still make great power and if you take care of it and maintain it you can actually have it pretty reliable so anyways that brings me to the car i recently bought it's a 2011 335 is mine came with the black exterior black interior and the dct seven speed transmission i believe the 335 is is kind of like a tuned up version of just the 335 from what i've heard they're basically calling it a baby m3 well, i saw the posting i actually saw in the back window they had their instagram posted so here's just one of the pictures of the car when i was looking at it and on the very back i had to zoom in like a bunch of times and i had to do a couple guesses but i actually found the person's instagram the previous owner of it. It's actually really cool about it. She pretty much told me all the information on the car. I don't really know too much about the cars yet because I haven't looked into it that much. But it already has blow off valves, um, intakes, uh, what else? Catless downpipes. And what's cool about the 335 IS is that it already has a, like a performance muffler on it or something like that. So it's a little bit louder from the factory and that paired up with the catless downpipes makes it a little bit louder. I still think I'm going to make it a little bit louder though because it's not not up to par yet. So yeah, it's pretty sweet. It already has full bolt-ons. Um, and as it sits right now, it's really fun to drive. But of course, there's things to fix on it. So here's the speed I was talking about. Technically, it's not even, it's not even mine anymore, but it had damage on this fender, these wheels, on this door, the door is completely the door was replaced, this door was replaced, this bottom uh, trim was fixed, this bottom piece right here was fixed actually, and then I replaced the tires on them because they were starting to show the little, 
they're starting to show wear. This car, you can actually tell, this is probably for a Cobb access port. And this car already has the intake and catalyst downpipe and it has a nice exhaust system on the back. So it sounds kind of loud to be honest. <laughs> Even louder than the uh, the BMW, but it's a blast to drive. But I'm not going to drive right now because technically it's not even mine. Popping on a west side because it's West Day. I just made a thousand, do it in face. I've been going in, uh, I'm a close the chase. I can't wait no more, man. I got a blow today. Popping on a west side because it's West Day. I just made a thousand, do it in face. I've been going in, uh, I'm a close the chase. I can't wait no more, man. I got a blow today. And then, so here's the damage on the beamer, a little bit of the rear bumper. Um, this bottom piece, oop, this bottom piece right here, the door obviously, and a part of the quarter panel. And it has some smaller things like little chips on the uh, on the wheels and stuff. I actually really like these stock wheels. I don't know why. And those brakes. I I was talking to her on Instagram and she said there was new brakes and stuff on it. It also has full bolt-ons. Now the 335 IS comes with. Um, I'm pretty sure they come with different headlights, a different bumper, different rear bumper, even the side skirts I think are a little bit different. And it looks like, I don't know if it was ripped off or what they did to it, but there used to be a wing on it. I could see it from the pictures on uh, the previous owner's Instagram. So it's a little bit scratched up from when they took it off or something. I'm not sure how they did that exactly. But that's not big that that's not that big of a deal because I plan on getting a new one anyways. Also, I found these sunglasses in here. They're pretty sweet. I think I'm going to keep them. <laughs> I'm not going to ever wear them, but they're kind of a part of the car now. And I love the subtle things they did on these cars. I don't know if all of them come with like the can't really see that, but it's the uh, little M Sport logo on the wheel. And it also has the 335 IS part on the dash. And also on here. I really like the black interior with the black exterior. I think that makes it pretty sweet. Kind of crazy about this car is that it's older than my 2014 BMW. And it was pretty much the same layout. But this one, for some reason, this one has navigation and my other one did not. I think this one just has like, I think this one's just pretty much like fully packaged with like everything. Cause even my newer one didn't have that. I'm about to show you guys something pretty funny. That's not a good sound. So when I was talking to her on Instagram, I actually said something about that. Cause I drove it home from the auction. I didn't even have it towed here or anything. I just decided to send it and drive it home. And it actually worked out pretty well, but the first thing I noticed right away was the sound coming from the rear. Those shocks are either shot or, from looking at them closer, I think they might be loose at the top because it seems like they had coilovers on before. And later this was confirmed because I talked to her about it. And she said, yeah, there was coilovers on it. And I think when they put the OEM suspension back on, they forgot to tighten down the top bolt. So I think both sides on the back are just loose. I don't know if they're completely shot yet, but either way, I'm gonna get coilovers or um, some some nice shocks and lowering springs because I think it looks really good with them. Overall, this car has been really fun to just mess around with. I found out that it had launch control from the factory, which is pretty sweet. And I'm also happy I don't have to spend so much money on upgrades that I was gonna do anyways. So full bolt-ons already done. I think I'm gonna get a new tune on Maybe like an E30 or E40 blend. Maybe even like E60 or something like that. For any of that, I want to fix the suspension and the bodywork, of course. So that's going to be first thing that's going to be done. And I'm going to show you guys the process. I'm really going to try to record everything and bring you guys along.